Hello. So, today's video is definitely, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be fashion orientated, which is not a haul or a lookbook or anything like that. Today's video is going to be me exploring my aesthetic. Yeah. The last time I tried to do like a borderline aesthetic video was I uploaded this lookbook and I called it My Favourite Outfit and it was grunge slash 90s etc. And I got roasted in the comments because everyone was like, that's not grunge and that's not punk and that's not 90s. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think I fit into a particular category of style I know that a lot of people are on the same wavelength and there is no point being in the box so you should just get to wear what you want to wear anyway let me just quickly get into today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by shop dagger Woo! guys if you have not heard of shop tagger you have not been paying attention on my channel because <laughs> they have sponsored so many of my videos it's free it is a browser button that you add onto google chrome i love to shop smart shop tagger is all about shopping smart and it's so easy to shop smart because you have all these things that you're just browsing the internet for but you can't afford it so you're like okay you know what i'm just gonna save it in my shop tagger and whenever it goes on sale goes out of stock, gets restocked, you will be notified. So you won't forget that it exists, it won't disappear in a shopping cart that you forgot existed, and it'll all just be sitting there forever. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you how to use it. So this is what my shop tagger looks like. Now recently, shop tagger actually just got a brand new look, which is so cute. On the left here, I have all my um, wish lists <laughs> from all my other videos and just life and then um, up the top here they have stores and it will show you every single store that works with shop tagger now for instance if I link through and go to Disturbia I'm in the new women's section and I am loving all of these so I click on the little tab on the right hand side and I can choose which items I want to save. So for instance, I really like this poison t-shirt. So I'll click save it and it'll be added into my shop tagger. It's that easy. And if you want to be more particular, for instance, I can go into this leave me alone shirt. And then again on the right, shop tagger will give me a little pop up. So I'll click it and then I can choose a size and I can see if there's, I can ask if it will let me know if there's any price changes and then I click save and then I'll go on to my shop tagger and then you'll see that it's updated and has these two there. I love it! Ah! Okay, so shop tagger is free. I have a link down below. All you gotta do is click the link, install it and it's added onto your browser. It's located up here in the top right of the screen here and I am just... So please, the shop tagger exists, and thank you, shop tagger, for sponsoring this video. You are the best. And now, back to the rest of the video. Whee! I'm gonna spend four days doing four different aesthetics. These will not be strict, okay? They will be my versions of these aesthetics. Please stop coming for me in the comments whenever I do videos like this, okay? Please. <laughs> Just enjoy the video for what it is, okay? I'm kind of just seeing where this goes. I don't really have a particular like idea of this type of video. There's no underlying message just yet. We'll find out what that is at the end. So the four aesthetics I feel like I identify with and I go through waves. I like drift between all of them would be grunge, like a Instagram baddie slash like racer slash, I don't know, just like, just for the internet pastel and vintage slash art ho. I tried to make like a Venn diagram <laughs> of the aesthetics and how they all kind of blend together anyway. A lot of them have the same kind of like features or particular outfits or ideas or colors that kind of blend them together and I feel like that's where I kind of get lost and like drift and that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. 
So today I am going to do grunge. Today uh, Jackson and I are hanging out. Oh, we're probably gonna go on like a date or something. So today needs to be a summer date grunge outfit. So to create a grunge outfit, you require fishnets, ripped jeans, a band tee, vans, uh, anything played, chains, like sweaters, but like oversized denim jackets mostly. Sweaters I'd say would be more like open cardigans. And the main colors would be like gray, maroon, black, obviously. I have what I'd say would be like the grunge makeup. I have like a little earring on and gray, light brown kind of eyeshadow, large wings, and then some dark purpley brown lipstick. Um, so I've got a chain top from the Ragged Priest, these Love To True pants, a safety pin that I put on a chain, and then I've got my trusty platform docks and a little black pleather bag. And I think that's pretty grungy. So far, I'm not really a fan of the makeup. I think it uh, like washes me out, um, but really like this outfit. It's gonna be hot in these pants, but it's worth it. <laughs> Jackson doesn't think this makeup looks as pretty as my normal makeup, right? No, I think it looks good. I just think it looks different to your normal makeup. But you don't like it as much. I like everything you do. Jackson, for the purpose of this video... Nah, the lipstick's too dark. There we go. There we go. So yeah, you're not a fan. You prefer me with like a nude lip or like nothing on my lips, yeah? And I feel the same. I feel the same. Um, yeah. I got a photo. I wouldn't say this like definitely screams like a grunge, but I tried my best. This is my driveway. So I've edited it so the colors are really muted, but kind of dark, uh, a little bit of grain, a little bit of uh, dust. And um, so that's my grunge look. Uh, so pretty much I didn't get to be pastel all day because I had work from eight till three and then I had a shoot, but I got to be pastel for the shoot. Well, kind of pastel. I thought pastel would be easy, but pastel is actually quite hard because I tried doing my makeup so that it was more um, like soft. And then I was like, this looks bad. So let's break down pastel, shall we? The main colors are obviously pastel colors. Uh, green, blue, peach, and pink. You're gonna get like like skirts and tops, you're gonna get tulle, you're gonna get like holographic, you're gonna get platform sneakers or just cute chunky sneakers. You're gonna get little frame glasses. Obviously like some Japanese and Korean style references. Layers of uh, pinks and blues and like pastels over the top so there's nearly no like black. Which is why I regret wearing such thick eyeliner and eyelashes, but I looked terrible before <laughs> I tried. I ended up wearing um, this pink dress from Yes Style, but then I wore it as a top and put this tulle <laughs> skirt on that I got from Fame and Partners like four, ye five years ago. I've had this in my wardrobe for the longest time ever. And then I have these cute shoes from Lipstick. Um, they sent these to me last week and I was like, oh my gosh, perfect for my pastel video. Isn't really pastel and I wish I had like a fluffy pink jacket, but I thought this was pretty perfect. This is just an old jacket from Mistress Rocks. I got this maybe like two or three years ago as well. I feel like my pastel look was kind of a flop. I am um, helping out my friend Jess for this shoot for pretzel, pretzel? Pretzel. Just pretzel. pretzel. They're just called pretzel. So Jess is here and we're taking photos of really good pretzels and I have a really cute pink and pastel outfit on and we're gonna take some cute photos for my content today and help her out and be a free model today. So that's the plan. 
yeah, so we just um, took a bunch of photos. I won't have the photos from like her camera. So we just took some iPhone photos and this is how they turned out. I just got these two shots, one close up, one full body. It's definitely a good contrast to the grunge photo, um, but I don't think this is pastel enough. Kind of how I feel about the grunge photo yesterday. It's not grunge enough, like I'm just so vanilla. Why am I so boring? So tomorrow is Art Home, which I'm very excited for. I feel like I identify with Art Ho a lot. And how I would break this aesthetic down. Your favorite color is yellow. You have a full raven bag. You have docks, pins. You love doing flat lays with books, cactuses, sunflowers. And then you kind of like incorporate like vintage vibes with like colors, t-shirts, like, like, you know, like polo and striped tops, overalls, light or dark denim, mum jeans, and also um, you're sort of creative and I am an artist so that kind of works perfectly with like the aesthetic of who I am. So I have my art ho outfit on, I've got this little, I've got this stripy t-shirt, my favourite pair of mum jeans, I got some socks and skate highs and then of course I have my full raven Kankin bag so and I got the glasses on and I've done like minimal makeup I've done a bunch of freckles no product in my eyebrows or anything or on my um, eyelashes so it's like that super natural look do you like the art ho look yeah I do I think it's like nice and chill do you prefer it to the grunge yeah 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 I got this photo uh, when we were at the farm. It's not like the strongest photo, but I think like the vibe is there, definitely. Tomorrow is gonna be Instabaddy slash Ratchet Racer. So wish me luck. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Um, I had work, so when I came home from work, I had this vision, I wanted to do a tan, I wanted to wash my hair, and and I ended up just like running out of time and I realized I didn't have a foundation that would be dark enough to match the tan. I think um, baddies love to do heavy makeup with heavy eyeshadow, very like glam or like full color eyeshadow. So I did this purple look with this purple t-shirt I have from Goodbye Bread. I got it in the mail yesterday, so I was like, this is perfect. Long nails and very loud highlight. So that was what inspired me to do my makeup. Also, baddies love nude colors, pink and black. So I went with a nude lipstick. Um, it's kind of rubbed off now. I needed to have either like a hoodie, sneakers, or, or a hoodie with heels, or a hoodie with sneakers, and like, bike shorts, maybe like a luxury brand, and then to have like a like a tiny little waist. And then when you lean towards more ratchet racer, it's more like checkers, flames, over the top accessories, maybe like a puffer jacket, those like camo pants, even deeper in the kind of, like more like the style of the Instagram buddy, you know what I mean? Rather than the like aesthetic. I don't know how to explain it or how best to put it. I've never tried doing like a golden hour selfie and I've never tried doing a like car seat photo. Like you know those photos of girls sitting in the passenger seat or the driver's seat of a car and they have like one foot up with like a sneaker or like they're holding like a coffee or something. I figured I would try and recreate them. The golden hour uh, selfie didn't end up looking that great because it just doesn't suit me, but here's my attempt. And then the car seat photo. I'm actually quite proud of that. My poor sister <laughs> they had to stand there and take photos of me in my car for about 45 minutes so we could nail that kind of angle. And I've never really had my photo taken with like a flash before because it was dark anyway. And also a lot of girls with that aesthetic take photos with a flash. So uh, that was an interesting experience. And the photo turned out pretty good. I used like 
three different filters to get the like right skin tone and then to make my car look decent instead of um, just its basic Honda Jazz self. <laughs> So I think my final thoughts, I did enjoy each outfit, I like the vintage Aho day the most. I, I honestly feel like I didn't do all of them justice, I feel like I somewhat did them each justice but not really at all so uh, please don't comment down below what I did wrong or yeah comment down below what I did wrong, I don't know. Um, Let me know which one you thought I looked best in or what you think I yeah this was actually pretty fun to do this was a challenge I wish I had more time to do this I did it all in four days and I'm gonna edit this and put this up tomorrow <laughs> um I let me know what you think you are or what aesthetic you like I was hoping a underlying message would come out of this video but it kind of didn't I just had fun doing it I think it was just like a cool style fun idea to try Thank you again ShopTagger for sponsoring this video, you are the best. I am so thankful for my wonderful audience for being patient with me. I know the last like four videos have been sponsored and I really appreciate it. You know that I am saving up to get all my wisdom teeth taken out and it is not a cheap exercise and I am so 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 thankful for all your love and support and helping me achieve that goal. I really appreciate it. I promise the next two or three videos will not be sponsored and it's just gonna be me existing, having fun. The next video is gonna be really cute and chill. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have the best day ever and bye.